Let me tell you something. Y'all be on here talking about Elon Musk, he a billionaire, Bill Gates, he a billionaire. All these billionaires, but they seem like they trying to kill us, man. They trying to knock off our people. These billionaires having a way with the world at this point. Let me explain what I'm talking about. Bill Gates is 67 years old and he worth $117.2 billion. And it looked like he been trying to invest in everything that seemed to knock out people, man. Now he invested in lab-made meat that the USDA just approved. See, real meat, if it ain't good, it causes high blood pressure. It causes cancer. It may cause goddamn blood clots too because it ain't healthy. It ain't grass-fed. Especially red meat and processed meat that they sell at goddamn McDonald's all that Burger King y'all be eating. So what you think that this lab made synthetic meat gonna do to your body? It seems allegedly that they trying to depopulate the world. They trying to stop black people from reproducing, man. They ain't got enough food to goddamn feed all seven billion of our ass, man. So they in these goddamn labs creating meat and produce. And what you gotta understand is the rich people, the really rich, the people that got real money, man, they don't shop at the goddamn grocery stores that you shop at. They they shop at Whole Foods. Shalom. We give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakar Kadash, Dabanu, to the Apostle, the Elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful elect Akim that's pushing this word. The truth is said throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the doctrine of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that dude, um, Nino Brown, they call him, man. He, well, I, I, I bumped into this video. And, it, and you see that a lot of people are starting to really pay attention to the, the synthetic meat that's been approved, okay? And we already know, you know, the brothers that's in the spirit knows why this is happening, okay? You know, this is basically Esau is um, having war against his saints, man. Having, I mean, Esau trying to have war against the saints of Yahweh Bashim and Abishai, okay? They're trying to get the elect. Which is impossible. All right. So, but we already know what he's doing. This is all of the workers of iniquity trying to break down these people here to try to fulfill their new world order and to fulfill their guides, the Georgia Guidestones, try you know, kill people off, man. But basically, it's really a war against Israel, you so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Okay. All right. So, is you know, we, we knew about this for a long time. <clears throat> okay. They've been or doing this, all right? <clears throat> if brothers remember back in the days, you know, um, <laughs> you know, let's get the scripture out first. This is Job 9 and 24, as I put out earlier in the video here. Job 9 and 24, and it reads, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. See, that's the whole point. So you got these, these um, families, man, these rich banking families that run this world, man, Okay. And they call themselves the illuminated ones, all right, because they run this earth, all right? So basically in their mind, they think they can make things better. That's the, the mind of Esau Edom. They think they can correct the ways how, how Yahweh Bashmashai created things, okay? So they put their spin into it, all right? So a simple-minded person will tell you, oh, you know, this is going to help out for the lack of bread, lack of food, and everything. No, it's not. What this is going to do is going to help out to kill you Negroes and Latinos, man. That's what's going to happen. Because the diet of a traditional so-called Negro and Latino is terrible, man. All brothers throughout the four corners of the earth see it. All brothers throughout Babylon see it. You see these long lines in McDonald's. You see these long lines and other fast food sp um, spots. Like a day after a so-called holiday, you see these lines are so long. I say, damn, do, do they cook? Do they do anything? So to uh, the, the the traditional foods of an American idiot is, is real porous, man. Okay? So this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay? That's the whole point. I want to read that part. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Now, the, the prophets foreseen what, they, what the wicked will do to the children of Israel. Okay? So I'm going to bring out a scripture. This is Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, verse 13, right? The prophet Ezekiel seen 
what these devils were doing, okay? And he had to, um, it had to be written down, all right? Okay, so this is Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, verse 13, and it reads, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles where I will drive them. And, and the Lord drove, driven us throughout the four corners of the earth, man, because of our of our transgressions, of breaking the law, statute, of commandments, following idols, you know, following other gods, you know. So you know, as part of the curses, because we didn't follow the law, law, statute, of commandments of Yahweh Bashmashai, he will drive, drive us. He will drive us to the four corners of the earth amongst the Gentiles. Who those Gentiles talking about? It's talking about the other nations, man. Okay. All right, so we already know the breakdown of the Gentiles, okay? So we're not going to go to that part. I just want to stick to this subject, all right? So <laughs> I remember back in the days, man, you know, you know, you know, we were all, you know, we were Gentiles at first. And, you know, I used to go to those Chinese restaurants with, you know, with the bulletproof glass windows and takeouts. You know, I used to get the chicken wings, fried rice with chicken wings and the pork fried rice, man. And I know your brother's... Probably remember your brothers back in the days, man. How those chicken wings, chicken wings were huge as shit, man. And you may think it was turkey wings, but it was really chicken wings, man. Nah, those were those fake antibiotic processed meat that we've been consuming. Okay, all right. And if it wasn't for the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the covering, we would be dead by now, brothers. You know what I'm saying? Or we have type two diabetes or something, man. Or we die in an early age because of our eating habits. All right, because of the truth and Yahweh Bashem Mashiach who preserved us from this, and to you know you know and and blessed us with this glorious gospel of the good news for uh, of, for Israel, we out there to teach, you know our lives is transformed how we eat, we work out, we train, we hustle, we study, we we um fast, so you know you gotta you gotta be thankful to Yahweh Bashem Mashiach man. All right, so our our lives are transformed of the way we eat. We're not like these common Negroes and Latinos out there just eating whatever, man. Okay? This man, the so-called white man Esau Eden, wants to kill us, man. Okay? And he don't mean give a damn about his own, man. This is what he's pushing in Babylon the Great. All right? So the FDA approved of synthetic meat, man. So when you eat something synthetic, your body's not going to... Um, uh, your body's not going to respond well to these synthetic meats and it's not going to get the 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 um it's not going to get the vitamins and minerals that it needs all right so what does that do your body gets sickly then you start going to the hospital then you start spending money on medications okay so it's like a big money scheme all right but the the big thing is is to what is to destroy israel man okay to destroy the elect that's what they're trying to get all right, so let's get Psalm 64. All right, I want to get to the point. Psalm 64, I want to get to the point. Okay, all right, so this is, um, let's start at birth. You know what? Let me start at the top. All right, Psalm 64, verse 1 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Okay, hear my voice, O power, my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. So that's why we out there, man. That's why we out there teaching his word and warning our people of various things about war, Jacob's trouble, foods, lifestyle. <clears throat> we warn our people of, and, and not to get to attack to this place. All right. So, you know, Lord is preserving us, man. Lord willing, we're, the, we're that elect. All right. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. So who's the secret counsel of the wicked? That's talking about what you call the Illuminati, okay? The Illuminated Ones, all right? Okay, this is what you get Lucifer from, meaning Illuminated One, all right? It means bringer of light, all right? So preserve my life from the fear of me. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So Hell Gates right here, he's part of the workers of iniquity. He's part of the secret counsel of the wicked, okay? It's not, it's not no coincidence that he's buying all the farms. He's creating eggs. He's replacing all the food to what? To destroy Israel. That's what he's here for, okay? 
Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who work their tongue like a sword. So this man has the power of the tongue. He will convince the American people that this is healthy, this will save lives, this will, will, this will push these fools in your 99 cent stores and other various markets out there that sell cheap food and really to convince the people we're here for your well-being. So they will wet their tongue. That's how they do it, man. It's like a it's like a weapon. Why? Because this man, Esau Edom, is the top liar of this planet, man. Okay? That's part of his um his weapons. That's part of his blessing. Is to lie. Alright. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows. This fake foods, man. And what they what they talk, even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Who's the perfect? It's talking about the elect, man. It's talking about the Israelites, all right? Okay? Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. So these are traps they set in, man. Okay? These are traps they set and They really want to decrease the population, man. All right? Um, they say, who shall see them? Well, guess who sees them? The Lord sees what these devils are doing. Okay? It's a matter of time. See, this is happening for a reason, for prophecy to be fulfilled and for the days to be shortened, man. All right? Things is going full speed ahead. All right? Verse 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. So you don't think they have surveys in each 99 cent store, supermarkets, fast food restaurants. They, they, they collect a lot of data of who's consuming these foods, okay? So they accomplish a, a diligent search. You better wake up, people, man. War always been against you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, all right? So they, have, they, they, they accomplish a diligent search. So they survey everything. They know what people's in these supermarkets, in these fast food chains, these 99-cent stores, these Chinese restaurants, and other various things. They know who's consuming. All right? Both the inward thought of every one of them and their heart is deep. But the Mosah shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. And get and how he shooting at them? Through the prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, through this word. All right? The internet. This word is going out through the four corners of the earth. Exposing these doubles, man. And you got your whistleblowers out there exposing these crackers out here, man. Okay? These 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 Edomites. All right. That's the biblical name of the Caucasian race. Is Edom. Esau Edom. All right. Let's go to it. Verse 8. So you have your whistleblowers. I'm gonna read it right here. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All all that see them shall flee away. And you got these whistleblowers. On YouTube, speaking against about these synthetic foods of their own people. Speaking about, speaking against these synthetic foods, man, what they're planning. So you, that's, that's, a, that's a whistleblower scripture, what I just read right here, when it says their own tongue shall fall upon themselves. All right? But this is all part of prophecy, man. And Ezekiel wrote that, what I wrote earlier, man. Okay? We shall eat our bread defiled amongst the heathen. But all this is for what? To um, shorten these days, man, for the elect's sake, man, because the kingdom is coming, man. You actually think, this is for, this is for you people who just enter in this word, okay? You actually think the Lord is going to let this man continue this? You really think so? <laughs> nah, I don't think so, man, okay? So let me get one last quick share. I'm going to close it out, all right? So this is... um. This is Mark, the 13th chapter, verse 20. And it reads, and it reads, and except, okay, um, okay, and except the Lord has shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. So if this man was continuing to rule, these, these, these banking families, these Edomites, Esau, Edom, if this man continue to rule on this earth, there will be nothing left living. And on top of that, he going to destroy himself. Okay? 
So this man continue to rule, there'll be no flesh to be saved, all right? Okay? And except the Lord has sure in those days, no flesh shall be saved, but for the elect's sake. The elect of who? The elect of Israel, okay? Whom he have chosen, see, the Lord have chosen the elect, right? He have shortened the days, man. So all this stuff that's going on, man, all right? This is all part of prophecy, man. And it's going to come full speed ahead. It's a, lot of, a lot of these prophecies are being fulfilled, all right? The days are speeding up for the elect's sake, man, all right? So guess what, man? Don't, do not worry, man. Yahweh Bashman Shah is going to destroy these devils. He's going to punish them, man. I mean, beyond, man, it's beyond our imagination. But the scriptures tell us. Okay, so just stay prayed up, man. Eat healthy as best as you can. All right, get in the gym, work out, walk, do intermediate fasting, do a lot of things, man, to keep your health in check, man, because these devils is at war against us, man. To then, another video. Shalom.